Hi, welcome to another MacSurf tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to use MacSurf Modeler and our uh, body plan view, uh, and we're going to export that into AutoCAD 2021. Separate all the lines out uh, into a package that we can then use to build from. So let's jump straight on in. I've got a file already loaded up, and we'll see how we can go about getting this out of MacSurf and into AutoCAD. So here we are in MacSurf. Uh, this is the view that we're going to want to get out of uh, MacSurf when we get it into AutoCAD. So the first thing that we need to do is just double check our frame of reference. We want our frame of reference uh, to be zero at the very back of the boat, at the transom, and then also at the keel. Uh, once we're happy that we've got our uh, freight, our zero point there, um, that will help us uh, when we come to actually getting it out as well. Uh, another key uh, piece of information that we need to know is our units of measure. So we're in meters, which is fine, uh, because we're going to need to know that because of the scale factor when we come into uh, AutoCAD, because obviously AutoCAD is in millimeters. So. Also, what we need to do is uh, move our design grid to the parameters that we need for the actual blocks of foam that we're going to cut this out of. So straight away, uh, the block of foam that we use are all 100 mil blocks of foam. Uh, and then we're going to actually put these onto some plywood, these cutouts onto plywood, uh, to create the frame structure. So the plywood we use is four mil. So we need a station basically every hundred and four mil. Uh, on a two meter boat, we're going to need uh, just over uh, uh, twenty stations. So we need to delete all the available stations we've got. We'll just delete everything. We'll then add in. We're going to add in twenty stations. Um, we're then going to space them. Now we did before, we evenly uh, spaced them along the length. Now we don't want to do that. We want to space them from uh, station uh, 0 through to 20 in steps of 0 0.104 uh, meters, starting at 0. Click OK, and then click OK again. And we now have uh, 20 stations all the way down the length of the boat, starting from the transom all the way to the bow. And these are going to give us the shape at these intervals all the way down the, base, the shape of the boat. Uh, like I said, we're going to be exporting the body plan, so the body plan is here. Uh, one thing we just need to go back and change in our uh, design grid is our station our split station because what we're going to do is we're going to have half of the stations on one side and half of them on the other so we, we've got the split in at station 10 which is ideal and then when we actually use this icon here the half icon it will give us the station 10 forwards and station 10 aft which will help us in a minute in autocad because these all are going to be imported in So the next stage we want to do is making sure we've got the body plan selected, come over and we're going to export it as a DXF file. We're going to double check our 2D DXF file is selected um, and our scale here we need to swap to 0 0.001 because obviously the difference between meters and millimeters. Uh, polylines is selected and we're using six decimal places ideal so we'll just click OK and then we can save this as uh, a file and we are going to save it as a DXF file and once we're happy just click save so that's now ready to bring into AutoCAD okay so we're here in AutoCAD so we're just going to come over and we're going to open a drawing 
D, we need to swap our file type to a, a DXF file. And then we can select the, the file that we've just uh, uh, saved. It then imports into uh, AutoCAD. Now, lot, we can clean up the drawing quite a lot. So we'll just clean it up to make life a little bit easier. We don't need um, any of these. We, re we do need the DWL, so we'll make sure we keep that. And we'll just get rid of all the grid lines. And we can get rid of all of this down here. Um, the other thing that we want to do is change the color of these two lines, which is the center line and the deck edge line, or the actual edge of the vessel itself. And we're going to swap them to to green. So we'll just uh, change their quick properties over to a, a green. And then we'll also do this line here. And we're going to have to do it down here as well. That's great. Now, the other thing we need to be aware of is that we want the DWL to run through the majority. Now, in this case, it is. Uh, but there is a couple of frames here that it doesn't have um, a DWL running through it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this DWL um, and we'll then raise it up a numerical value, um, 100 mil, sorry, uh, 10 mil, 20 mil, whatever it is, 40 mil, so that we've got a line running through up here, uh, which will help us do the assembly when we come to cutting out the blocks of foam. So we'll offset that line. Um, I haven't checked how far we need to do it, so I'll stick 30 mil in. See where that leads us. That's going to need to be a lot higher than that. So maybe I was right with 100 mil. Okay. So you can see now we've got this is our DWL plus 100, and this is our DWL line. Uh, this side we're okay because the DWL runs through the entire uh, the entire group, um, which will be fine. Um, it's quite small there, but we should be able to do it because it's a small frame um, and uh, we just need to line it up on when we're lasering it and we'll just laser the line through. So that should be fine. We've just got to remember that's DWL plus 100. Um, and we could most probably put some text in there just to remind us. DWL plus 100. Our text is a little small. So that just gives us a quick reminder that that's a DWL plus 100 mil. Now what we've got to do is we've got to separate all out these uh, lines into their individual frames. So we're going to start separating these out now and to do that we're going to copy and we're going to choose our selection that we want to copy so we'll do it frame by frame and we'll bring it, I've got my ortho mode on to make sure I'm bringing it out parallel um, once I'm happy that I've got it over to copied it over to one side, I'll trim out the various sections because all I need is the frame itself. Uh, and then I'm going to mirror that frame around the center line. 
So that's frame one done, and you can put uh, some text at the top for your frame one. We'll do frame two now. A little bit missing here, so I'm going to have to redo this one. I'll just copy it, make sure I get all that section in. It's fine. And I'll copy it from exactly the same base point. Bring it over here. And do exactly the same again, trim it all out. And then do exactly the same, do a mirror of the whole lot. And there we've got frame two done. And what we're going to do, I'll go down, I'll do all of these other ones, all the other frames, um, and I'll just I'll speed through it um, so that you can see that we're going to do the whole lot. Don't forget, uh, luckily, which makes life a little bit easier, all of the frames in port as a different station, as a layer. So you can actually turn off the maybe the layer that you uh, don't need to work on. Um, so you can turn them on and off. I tend not to, but it's your choice how you do this. Okay, so uh, I'll just do that and then I'll um, come back in a, in a second and we'll have all of the frames from 10 through to zip the bow uh, to one side. Okay, so I've done a I've done a few of them. Uh, it means I can uh, get on with the next stage. So don't forget you want to put some text on there, just to remind us which one it is. So you might want to put a uh, just a station uh, zero. Text height's a bit small. So yeah, and then just go along. Make you can actually, if you want, put the if it's able to fit, put the text actually on the station itself. Uh, so then, when we cut them out, uh, we don't forget which one's which. So we we just need to make sure we know which one it is. Now you'll see down here, I've put both the DWL and the DWL plus one hundred. Um, this just will give us an opportunity if we want to to swap to the proper DWL uh, to line them up with the laser. Um, I didn't do it with these three, four here because it actually was really right on the, the keel and wouldn't have uh, helped in any way. So the next thing we need to do now is we need to get them into some layouts. So the first thing you want to do in your layout is set up your um, your page so if you we just come over um, and we just do a page setup we're going to modify our page setup uh, a3 scale needs to be one to one um, go with the layout and then uh, i'm just set my printer as the pdf for the moment because i don't have a printer connected uh, click ok and then close that down and then now that the the layout set to 
A3. Um, you can then come over, come across, uh, create a new rectangular viewport, um, and then what we can come and do is come down to the bottom here, set our scale for our, to one to one, and then just move the um, the drawing to the particular frame we're interested in. Now, if it doesn't fit on an A3 page, then we might as well use the big plotter. Um, and if we're going to use the big plotter, then we don't need to do the individual pages. We can just do the whole lot in one big plot. I'll leave that one up to you. It's very dependent on the size of boat, uh, that is the width of the boat, obviously, and then also the keel to the deck edge height. Um, but if we can do it on A3, it will make it uh, uh, a lot more uh, manageable with resources. Um, when, once you've got it sorted, you might want to lock um, that particular viewport down um, so that you know that it's not gonna, we're not going to change the scale of it by, by mistake. Once you've done that, they are ready to be then printed uh, and move on to the next stage. So that's the end of that tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. There'll be another tutorial just coming to get the actual three-dimensional model into Inventor. Um, uh, so look out for that one.